Well, good morning, everybody, and a very warm welcome to morning prayer on this Wednesday, the 13th of May. Uh, it's good if you can join us for prayer this morning. As always, you can follow along on the daily prayer app or by following the link in the post. Let's take a moment of quiet as we begin just to still our hearts and offer ourselves to God in prayer. Loving God, our Heavenly Father, we come to you now to express our need of you. To hear your word, to offer you our lives, to bring before you people and situations on our hearts. Help us to pray now in the power of the Holy Spirit and in union with Christ. Amen. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation, to you be praise and glory for ever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land, so now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The first psalm today is psalm number 30. Psalm 30. I will exalt you, Lord, for you lifted me out of the depths and did not let my enemies gloat over me. Lord, my God, I called to you for help and you healed me. You, Lord, brought me up from the realm of the dead. You spared me from going down to the pit. Sing the praises of the Lord, you, his faithful people. Praise his holy name. For his anger lasts only a moment, but his favour lasts a lifetime. Weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. When I felt secure, I said, I shall never be shaken. Lord, when you favoured me, you made me, you made my royal mountain stand firm. But when you hid your face, I was dismayed. To you, Lord, I called. To the Lord, I cried for mercy. What is gained if I am silenced? If I go down to the pit, will the dust praise you? Will it proclaim your faithfulness? Hear, Lord, and be merciful to me. Lord, be my help. You turned my wailing into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy, that my heart may sing your praises and not be silent. Lord, my God, I will praise you forever. Psalm 147, starting at verse 13. 147, starting at verse 13. He strengthens the bars of your gates and blesses your people within you. He grants peace to your borders and satisfies you with the finest of wheat. He sends his command to the earth. His word runs swiftly. He spreads the snow like wool and scatters the frost like ashes. 
He hurls down hail like pebbles. Who can withstand his icy blast? He sends his word and melts them. He stirs up his breezes and the waters flow. He has revealed his word to Jacob, his laws and decrees to Israel. He has done this for no other nation. They do not know his laws. Praise the Lord. Compassionate God, as you know each star you have created, so you know the secrets of every heart. In your loving mercy, bring to your table all who are fearful and broken, all who are wounded and needy, that our hungers may be satisfied in the city of your peace, through Christ who is our peace. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading this morning is from the book of Numbers. <clears throat> Numbers chapter 12. Numbers 12 Miriam and Aaron began to talk against Moses because of his Cushite wife, for he had married a Cushite. Has the Lord spoken only through Moses, they asked. Hasn't he also spoken through us? And the Lord he heard this. Now Moses was a very humble man, more humble than anyone else on the face of the earth. At once the Lord said to Moses, Aaron and Miriam, Come out of the tent of meeting, all three of you. So the three of them went out. Then the Lord came down in a pillar of cloud. He stood at the entrance to the tent and summoned Aaron and Miriam. When the two of them stepped forward, he said, Listen to my words. When there is a prophet among you, I, the Lord, Reveal myself to them in visions. I speak to them in dreams. But this is not true of my servant Moses. He is faithful in all my house. With him I speak face to face, clearly and not in riddles. He sees the form of the Lord. Why then were you not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? The anger of the Lord burned against them, and he left them. When the cloud lifted from above the tent, Miriam's skin was leprous. It became as white as snow. Aaron turned towards her and saw that she had a defiling skin disease. And he said to Moses, Please, my Lord, I ask you not to hold against us the sin we have so foolishly committed. Do not let her... Be like a stillborn infant coming from its mother's womb with its flesh half eaten away. So Moses cried out to the Lord, Please God, heal her. The Lord replied to Moses, If her father had spat in her face, she would not have been in disgrace would she not have been in disgrace for seven days? Confine her outside the camp for seven days. After that she can be brought back. So Miriam was confined outside the camp for seven days, and the people did not move on till she was brought back. After that, the people left Hatseroth and camped in the desert of Paran. The New Testament reading is from the Gospel of Luke. Luke chapter 5, 12 to 26. Luke chapter 5, 12 to 26. While Jesus was in one of the towns, a man came along who was covered with leprosy. When he saw Jesus, he fell with his face to the ground and begged him, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. 
Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said. Be clean. And immediately the leprosy left him. Then Jesus ordered him, Don't tell anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer the sacrifices that Moses commanded for your cleansing, as a testimony to them. Yet the news about him spread all the more, so that crowds of people came to hear him, and to be healed of their illnesses. But Jesus often withdrew to lonely places and prayed. One day Jesus was teaching, and Pharisees and teachers of the law were sitting there. They had come from every village of Galilee, and from Judea and Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was with Jesus to heal those who were ill. Some men came carrying a paralysed man on a mat and tried to take him into the house to lay him before Jesus. When they could not find a way to do this because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and lowered him on his mat through the tiles into the middle of the crowd right in front of Jesus. When Jesus saw their faith, he said, Friend, your sins are forgiven. The Pharisees and teachers of the law began thinking to themselves, Who is this fellow who speaks blasphemy? Who can forgive sins but God alone? Jesus knew what they were thinking and asked, Why are you thinking these things in your hearts? Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Get up and walk? But I want you to know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. So he said to the paralysed man, I tell you, get up, take your mat and go home. Immediately he stood up in front of them, took what he had been lying on and went home praising God. Everyone was amazed and gave praise to God. They were filled with awe and said, we have seen remarkable things today. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O oh death, is your sting? We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you now with people on our hearts, situations on our hearts, with the needs of our world on our hearts. 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we will all know people affected by both this virus and by the lockdown. People who are, might be isolated, people who might be poorly, people mourning the loss of loved ones, people really struggling. And we just lift those people up to you now in a moment of quiet. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we continue to pray for your mercy as we ask you to stop the spread of this virus. We pray for the infection rate R to go down. We pray for the number of infections to go down. We pray for those who are dying of this virus to go down. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for everybody as certain steps are taken to uh, relieve the restrictions that we are living under. And we ask for people to, ask, to act wisely, to use good sense, to make wise decisions, whether they are employers, or em employees, people going about their lives. Help us all to make the right choices for the benefit of all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we read today how you healed somebody of leprosy. You healed uh, um, somebody who was paralysed. And we ask for your healing now for those known to us who are sick whether that from this virus or in any other way, Lord Jesus, in your name, heal, we pray. We pray for those known to us, our friends, family members and neighbours, for those on our sick list and email list at church, for anybody that we know in need of your healing. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Father, we continue to pray for relatives of those who have recently died, and especially those arranging funerals at this time. We lift up to you a funeral being taken tomorrow by one of our ministers and a funeral on Friday that I'm taking. And we pray for those families. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for all those who are in prison and for those who work in prison. And we pray for your peace to reign in those institutions, for you to uh, protect both prisoners and the guards and the wardens and be with them all, we pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for those feeling despair or darkness, that they may find the hope and light of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The Collect for today. Almighty God, who through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, have overcome the d death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life, Grant that as by your grace going before us, you put into our minds good desires, so by your continual help we may bring them to good effect. Through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Lord's Prayer Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, 
as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Well, take care, everybody. Have a good day. I'll see you this evening for evening prayer at 5.30. Bye-bye.